This is the Rio sliding window. Window number three, window number six, one in the living room, one here in the bedroom. These windows pop out and slide down the face of the building. All of this is very easy to do, but this one in particular takes a little bit of learning and a little bit of practice to understand and use properly. The major parts of the window are the window frame itself. Outside, there are two wheels riding in the track at the head. Then we actually have the latching mechanism, the latch handle, the latching hooks. Last part is the counterweight, which is a counterweight for the gear rack, just to make it a little bit easier to operate. In order to open the window, the handle is straight down. And what I'm about to say is very important because the window will not operate correctly if you do not follow these instructions. To open the window, rotate the handle up and slowly release the window out. Now, the window is released at this point. Do you see the, the handle? The window's released and you could operate it. However, in order to latch the windows correctly, you have to continue all the way around which will reset the hooks. Now, when the handle is straight up, the hooks are now reset and ready to lock the window the next time you, or when you bring it back in to close it. So now that the handle is straight up, we come over to the window frame itself, we grab the handle and we push out just a little bit. Uh, for the time being, there's a lighter glass in here so it's not hanging really correctly. Once the bird glass is in, it's heavier and it should lie flat. So we push out just a little bit and we slide very slowly, very easily down the wall. You can stop pushing in at this point because there are guides at the top that will keep this window from coming in. So when we open it all the way, there's a bumper, head bumper at the end that will keep your fingers from getting smashed in the door. So it fits my fingers and I have big fingers. There's a bumper, shouldn't be able to hurt your fingers. It is now fully open. In order to close the door, it's the exact same process, but backwards. The next part's very important. When we close this, we close it until it hits the bumper at the top and we lightly hold it. Now, you could slam this into the bumper and it's going to spring back. This is not good. You can do that, but you can't close it. You have to bring it into the bumper, wait until it stops vibrating, keep it pressed up against the bumper and let go. Only now is it ready to lock. It has to be all the way over. In order to lock it, we come back to the handle. The steps are pretty simple. We're going to open a little bit. We're going to look at all four of the hooks and make sure that all four are engaged. One might be a little low uh, in some cases, but as long as it's close or very close to engaged, we're good. So the handle in this position, <laughs> We're looking at the latches and you can feel it. I'm pulling on the window a little bit, but I'm looking at all four latches, making sure that they're all engaged. When I know they're all engaged, it's a very simple motion. Rotate it all the way down until it stops. This portion of the motion is a little tough. And the reason why it's a little tough is we're actually pulling the glass up and into position. So this portion, you're lifting the thousand pounds of glass up and into the seals, compressing the seals. That will never be very simple. You have to give it a little bit of work in order to draw the frame up and into the seals. Once it's here, it's totally locked. The seals are compressed. The wall is very stable. You can see all four hooks are engaged. It's perfectly fine for any storm that comes along. The window's secure. That's it.